The first illustration shown is soil composition. It includes the three layers of low density soils, which include fill soils, top soils, and subsoils. Beneath the three low density soils lies a layer of high density soil, commonly referred to as load bearing strata. Here you can see an actual cutaway of the soil showing you the different layers beneath your home. While preparing the foundation for construction, soft, low density soils beneath your home must be properly compacted before the soil is ready to support the structure. This helps to prevent long-term settlement due to consolidation. Poorly compacted soils can take place directly under your foundation or even several feet depending on the amount of fill soils that were brought in to level the lot prior to construction. These soils compress over time, causing the structure to fail and move downward with the soil. During the dry season, hot, dry wind and intense heat often cause moisture to evaporate from the soil underneath and around the foundation of your home which can lead to the foundation failure that you can see by exterior cracks in the brick, interior cracks in the walls, windows and doors that misalign, cracks in the slab and the foundation. This photo shows us soil that has consolidated due to the lack of moisture. During the wet season, with improper drainage around your home, excess moisture can erode and consolidate soil and cause settlement which leads to those same visible signs of failure as in the dry season. Here are two photos that show typical signs of a foundation failure. The first being cracks in the sheetrock around misaligned doors and the other stair step cracks in the exterior brick veneer. Now the top three layers that we discussed earlier are within what's called the zone of influence. That's the soils that can move and shift causing the damage to your home. Beneath it is the load bearing strata where the structure has to be properly supported by. High torque from hydraulic gear reduction motors screw helical discs deep in the soil into the load bearing strata. This type of system doesn't require the resistance of the structure to provide the reaction to install the pile. Each pile is torqued deep into the soil until we reach a layer of adequate load-bearing strata. The depth of each pile varies accordingly to the geological formations under your home. Once all piles are securely set, the foundation is lifted to what's called an elevation of maximum practical recovery. This will permanently halt any downward movement due to settlement of your home in the areas of the repair.